Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video, kind of show you this new thing I picked up recently. Uh, thanks to my buddy Jason uh, Shifty. You know who you are, buddy. Appreciate the heads up. Uh, he's a fellow hobbyist. He's actually a really amazing painter. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't have a website or anything like that that I could link you guys to, but trust me. I mean, maybe I'm hoping that one day I can get some of his product, his his models, and do a video showcase of his models because they're just phenomenal. The things that he can do with airbrushing and even even regular paint brushing, it's just phenomenal. The guy's amazing. Um, but he gave me a, a little heads up on one of his trade secrets, and that is this uh, very cool uh, headset with attached magnifier. Uh, I want to say it is from uh, Yakto Sun. It's a uh, magnifying headset. You can wear them like glasses, or it actually comes with a head strap you can actually put around, kind of bungee, bungee it in, and it comes with like, uh, what do you got here? Five different magnifiers, six different magnifiers. Goes from 1.0 all the way up to three, 3.5. Yeah, 3.5 times zoom, um, and it actually is really useful. I used it the first time the other day. I was painting some nights and uh, detailing some bases that I had done, some resin bases, and man, it just made it so much easier for me to see the things. Um, I am uh, legally blind uh, in all technicality, so I have a very heavy stigmatism. Um, I can't see things out of a certain distance. It's blurry without, you know, assistance. Uh, and up close, I can only see so close uh, in detail. And I paint. I've been painting miniatures pretty much all my life, just you know, as best I could. Um, and I've gotten a little better as I've gone. You know, I'm not the best painter, um, but from what I've what I've done, what I've learned, I find that my you know, I've got a good table standard uh, painting skill. You know. Some would say arguably better, but I, I personally don't think so. I think it's just a good table standards painting skill. But this tool has come into my possession, and I, I gotta say, I am really impressed. Um, there's a couple little cons, but I'm just gonna open this up. We're gonna go through it, and I'll show you. Bottom of the box doesn't really have anything on it. Um, I'll give you a kind of a look at what it does. But again, it's very cool. Um, you've probably seen these in like dentist office, uh, doctor's office. You know, they'll they'll use them for uh, precision work. You know, uh, things like that. But here we have the instructions. You know, it goes over the basics: how to put the batteries in, how to s connect the magnifiers to the lens. You know how the LED unit works, which it has two LEDs, really bright LEDs. Um, they work really well. Again, I used it recently, and I'm just so impressed with this. Um, there's also instructions in. Uh, I don't even know. It might be Japanese. It looks like it's Japanese, but you know, and also just how to use everything. Put that to the side. So here, here's the lenses. So they've got arms just like regular glasses, like I said. There is a nose nose pin or bridge here, you know, with a set on your nose. There's a lot of, this is one of my cons um, for this thing. This nose pin, because of all the weight that's on the front of this thing, the nose pin becomes very heavy and it leaves depressions in on your nose, the bridge of your nose. Um, so, you know, just something to take note of. Uh, I haven't tried it with the headset or the elastiband yet. I haven't tried that, but I will uh, just to see how it goes. So the whole unit folds all the way down, come all the way up. The magnifying unit arm goes all the way down, all the way around. Let's see if I can show that better. It's there. It actually comes all the way around to the front. So you can attach your magnifier, which I'll show you in a second. And I'm gonna blind you guys for a second, I apologize. 
but that's the LED. It's two bright LEDs. Very cool, um, very handy. Here are the magnifiers. I use the 3.5 uh, because that's the one that helps me uh, see all the details. But there you go, you know, you just pop it on, you can raise those up, you can bring the whole thing down if you want to, if it's easier for you. Uh, you can adjust it accordingly, within reason, to your vision scope. Now it says it narrows down your vision for this. Your field of view is narrowed when you're using the three fives, which I agree makes it very difficult to see anything in your peripherals. This says it gives you 156 millimeter field of view, which is not much. Um, but that's that's how they go. And you just pop it off. It's enough. It's enough uh, pressure fit in there to keep them in while you're working so they don't just drop right out. Um, but it's not so much that you can't actually just give it a little tug and get them out of there. Here's the elastic band that it comes with. And it's like a headband. You just, this a little button right here. You're supposed to be able to press that and the arm should come out. Yeah, there it goes just comes out just like that you know and then you pop in your headband and it, I don't know I haven't tried the headband yet I'm actually going to uh, next time I use these because like I said the nose pins were pretty heavy on the bridge of my nose so they left indentations you know little marks uh, and it gives you a little bit of a pressure on the front of your head so if you're not used to wearing goggles or anything like that these are heavy in front so, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna have that weight on your neck and your face. So it's gonna give you a little bit of a headache first couple times, not to mention the eyes. You're, a lot of times we're used to looking at things through glasses and we, we just kind of look around. You take for granted that these are not glasses, they're actually magnifiers. So it's gonna change your vision on a lot of things. So it makes things blurry. It also comes with a terry cloth for the lenses is really good they also come with initial batteries they're cheap batteries generic but they're batteries nonetheless that's actually really cool um, a lot of products don't do that but they come with glasses um, to change the batteries all you have to do is you pop that little tab there they come right out there's actually a strip a cloth strip you can use to pop the battery right on out. You just pop them out. It takes three triple A's and you're good to go. So I'm pretty sure it's just two small LEDs. Three triple A's are going to last a long time. Um, and even if it doesn't, it's three triple A's. I mean, it's not, you know what I mean? You can probably get those really fairly quickly and you know swap them out you don't have to use the light I just choose to sometimes uh, it just makes it easier for me well it made it easier for me when I tried them for the first time um, the other day it worked out pretty good I have to say so yeah I think these are really cool um, and I'll be honest fix this really quick. Sorry. These were extremely affordable. These were only $16 on Amazon Prime. So I always assumed they'd be more expensive things like this, which is why I never really looked into them. 16 bucks on Amazon that any any painter any miniature painter that's a gold mine right there that's like phenomenal um, 
I'm gonna show you real quick. So here, kind of some of the things I wound up painting. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in for you guys. you can see it but there's a lot of little details on these custom resin bases one of which I had a little bit of a trouble doing by myself were the brass casings from the bullet shells but with these glasses, I was able to hit those fairly easy. Now, you know, I, even without the glasses, I can still see them. I just couldn't get the brush on them, you know, without splatting paint everywhere. But this is one of the examples. of what I could do with these glasses. So, yeah, I was very impressed. With the glasses, hopefully, once I get my new paints all shaken up and ready to go, you know, I can, uh, let's get back in there zone there I can um, you know get to painting some more stuff and you know get back in, in the groove of painting be inspired to paint it's really difficult you know to stay motivated to painting uh, especially when you have huge armies and I've got a couple armies that I've got to go through and paint and other model kits and projects I'm doing that require you to paint but hopefully this plus a new batch of paints that I just received um, will really help motivate me to get going and get cranking on some of these paints but like I said I wanted to share this with you guys because it's a really cool product very affordable you know the price of two brushes and you can have one of these you know and it'll change it'll help your painting you know at least help you it will make you a better painter but at least help you see the details more clearly if you can without it great good for you um, I can't so it really helps uh, but that's it that is the uh, Yocto Sun magnifying glasses with LED headset uh, thanks for watching